Hello guys, and today we are going to start a Kirby in the Forgotten Land uh, Let's Play, since my Kirby videos typically do well. So let's uh, start a new save file and start playing. Would you like to connect online? I guess. Um, what? Alright, whatever. Uh, a Kirby and it's a bit wilder and challenging. And, um, let's see. Uh, let's, let's go, let's go a little bit difficult this time. It gets too hard, we can always change it. But, like, Kirby games aren't the hardest thing in the world, so... I'd be very disappointed if I had to change that. Alright, so here's the opening cutscene. So Kirby's running around the star. Now the villain's coming. Alright, so Kirby's stuff is now getting sucked into the black hole that opened up in the air. Or, well, like, there's, like, stars. And then Kirby gets sucked into the portal. And now he's in the Forgotten Land. And Kirby washes up ashore, uh, not knowing where he is, and wondering how he can get back to where he's supposed to be. So, we gotta wait for him to come to. And he is ready to go exploring already. So now we have to walk through the forest to find something. I kind of forget what it is, but... We had to do something at this point. So there's some coins around. Basically easy platforming. I only played this game once when, like, to basically to beat the game when it came out. Like, I didn't really do anything beyond that. I did, like, a couple, like, I think I finished the bonus section too. So that's basically what I, I didn't really, like, do anything else other than like just beat the game like I didn't like 100% or anything because I don't think you need to 100% to complete the bonus area but I remember beating the bonus area boss but so here's the city it's a little bit um full of green at the moment I don't know why it's a little little bit laggy sometimes in my opinion in some of these areas of like things in, okay I forget how you attack for some reason okay it's b forget that it's a to jump in this game and b to like attack which is annoying because like most games it's b to jump and a to attack but they changed it for kirby just to be a little bit special so let's keep going up here there's a drink so that we can recover the hp we stupidly lost by not knowing the buttons so there's a uh, bomb, you can drop an ability with a Y and then get your bomb here. And then you can uh, throw your bombs, you can be a bomb thrower. And toss them at all of the enemies. Because we should definitely be throwing uh, lethal bombs at things. That's definitely uh, safe to be doing. Like, you know, you, you can just throw a bomb right in front of you with absolutely no repercussions whatsoever you can just throw bombs like they're bowling balls very um very interesting and then these cutscenes are so high res for some reason it's it's kind of weird but whatever so now we have um uh fluffy fox guys coming to kill us but we just eat them up because, like, what are they going to do against Kirby? He can just eat anything he wants. And even eat a car. Because we will now be Car Kirby. 
because this game created one of the greatest things ever, and that is Car Kirby. So now you can drive around as Car Kirby, which is pretty awesome. So now we can jump as a car, because cars can jump, and we can uh, do a uh, dash car thing. So we can break through that wall, and we are now out in the open as Car Kirby. So basically what you can do as Car Kirby is destroy everything in your path, because Car Kirby is one of the most powerful things in the universe, as you will see uh, later in the gameplay. The car Kirby does some pretty crazy things. It looks like we got stuck, so let's go back up here, make the jump. And we can now go up here where there is a nice big pile of coins. And we can break some more mushrooms, run over some rocks. And here is the bridge. Uh, the bridge will slowly fall, and it will just slam down and not explode because I'm pretty sure if you did that to a real bridge it would completely destroy so now we're listening to some music on the radio I guess I can't really hear because the audio is pretty lousy when you're recording yep this is the main theme song for some reason they didn't do an English version I'm pretty sure so yeah there's there's no English version I don't know why they just left that out so now we will ride around and look at ducks cross the street and uh see um foxes in various places around the um kirby forgotten land universe and that's how laboratory logo I used to think that was a bird in a bird's nest for some reason but then I actually realized that it's a dachshund sleeping with eggs which doesn't make any sense but whatever like why well, they have a dog in a bird's nest but then again how I thought a dog was a bird I don't really know I think I was just kind of blind but like I I swear like until like a year ago I thought that there was a bird but it's actually a dog sleeping with eggs, which doesn't make any sense. Why Why is a dog sleeping with eggs? Like, dogs don't lay eggs. Anyway, let's go back to playing Kirby. And uh, as you can see, the place where these Waddle Dees live is absolutely destroyed. So Kirby is upset because the foxes are killing Waddle Dees and trapping them in cages. And those cages are being lifted by birds, like gigantic metal cages the size of a bird. I mean, like, bigger than the bird, honestly. Like, how is it picking that up? Then we have, um, Eflin, which is like this flying mouse thing you have to save. And this cage requires three birds to lift up because it's very big and made out of gold. How foxes can make things out of gold, I'm not quite sure of, but anyway, now we have to save Eflin from the cage, so we can just nuke the, the uh, foxes real quick, because Kirby has bombs and can just throw them at the foxes, because, you know, Kirby, Kirby does not like fox, because they kill Waddle Dee. You saved me, thank you. But what about those other guys, the Waddle Dees? They were all captured and taken away. I'm sensing the plot of the game here. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them. I have to. You all save them together. What? You'll help me save everyone? That's great. So, your name is Kirby. I'm Ethelin, nice to meet you. Alright, let's go to the world map. Uh, let's see, the first level, clear the stage, save hidden waddle dees. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to find any hidden waddle dees, but we'll see. So, here's some more fox guys uh, hanging around. 
uh, we had to throw the bombs at them. So now we can get the cutter ability, it looks like. And I really like the cutter ability. Good, thanks for, thanks for getting rid of that ability for me. So um, now we have the cutter, and we're getting attacked by rabbits. And I keep pressing every other button to do attacks for some reason. Uh, let's... Oh, we can just do this. Oh, that didn't, that didn't even hit him. Let's see, more rabbits. Uh, rabbits are jumping, so we can't exactly uh, get uh, the things that we need from that. So it looks like we can get a cake, and then there's a secret tunnel here that maybe takes us to Waddle Dee. No, it does not take us to Waddle Dee. Make five tulips bloom. So that's one of the quests that we can do, and it will save a Waddle Dee. So now Kirby can eat a, a uh, vending machine. Which is interesting. So now we can shoot soda at things. And everything we shoot will drop soda. So basically have unlimited ammo. We also just got a ton of carrots for some reason. Let's grab that soda. One soda can. Alright, we should be able to like break this. Alright, secret stuff. I forget how you exit out of this. Okay, you spit. And then uh, climb up the ladder. And over here is a toy capsule, which isn't really good for a story mode run. But basically you can... Oh, let's go that way. Basically you can get um, capsules and they give you these little collectible figure things. Alright, he does not really die, so... Yep, there we go. We got him now. So basically what we're going to do is go to that star. So let's go ride the star. I think this is... No, that's not the end of the level. Alright, as we fly through the air, come across another bomb dude. So let's kill him. I really feel like wielding bombs right now. Uh, we can also break this cannon thing. So then we can freely roam the area now they the cannons go into the ground which is annoying so now we have to go down there and break them but we already did that so i don't know why i'm talking about it so now we can get a cone so kirby can eat cones now so we can jump and spike downward on things so we can just immediately kill that guy very overkill uh, here we can slam into the ground and grab some uh, cabbages or something. I don't know what those are. And then we can break some more fox things. And then now there's another buffalo. But we can just... Oh, uh, he just did... He did damage to us even though we killed it. Don't worry, we were able to easily get another tulip. What? Why did I say tulip? You're easy to get another food. I don't know what I just said there. So now what we can do is open this pipe, fly up here, and I'm pretty sure there's a secret here. So now we rescued another Waddle D and got another toy capsule. And a cherry, which we can't really use since we're full on HP. Uh, let's climb here. Oh, and there's our Waddle D at the end of the level. So let's go, um, we'll stay with Cutter, to be honest. Uh, let's see what we have to fight. More foxes and rabbits. Yippee. Alright, now we have to actually fight a boss, so that's Wild Edge. Um, yeah, he has a big sword, and he will try to kill us, so... Oh, he also has, he also has a very l large shield. So, let's charge up a, uh, spinning thing. And damage him with that. Alright, now he's going to do a uh, dash attack at us. Let's throw our silly uh, boomerangs at him until he dies. There we go. He is now officially dead. And I think that's this is like the end of the level thing. So I'm not really going to... Looks like it really wants me to eat him. We'll just eat him because why not. Uh, let's go and uh, free the Waddle D. Save the hidden- that's a hidden Waddle D. Looked pretty darn obvious if you ask me. Alright, let's go on the star. 
Uh, let's see. There's some stuff, a lot of stuff going on around here, actually. Um, we got some more fox guys. Uh, let's get rid of this sword man. Climb up here. I think you can eat this, and there's a secret here. Yep, hidden Waddle D. It's right here. And he just vanishes into somewhere. This thing, you need a cone to kill, but I haven't seen a cone around here, so I'm gonna look around. There's your cone. And we got more rabbits, but we were able to kill those very easily. Alright, let's save the vine here, and then we can kill the turtle. Not exactly sure what happens when we kill the turtle, but uh, let's see. Spike downwards, he died, and we saved another hidden waddle dee. Pretty, pretty easy saving hidden waddle dee so far. Uh, we get some weird donut things. Like, I've never actually seen those in a thing outside of Kirby. So, we need to go up so we have to spit out the cone. Now we, <clears throat> we're going to keep going up, here's another cone, I don't know why I just started charging up the swing attack, there we go, cone, let's go up, and there's the biggest turtle building of all time, probably should have ducked under there. There's something we can break. Oh, we are we are getting murdered right now. All right, we can hide under here and regain our HP. All right, now we can go on top of him. And I probably should have went up on that corner to get the toy capsule, but we didn't actually go up there. So, oh, we can go back. Sorry, you have to, you have to wait to get freed from your cage because we need to get our... Um, plastic thing in a, in a tube, so uh, let's go free them now. And the Wild Ds are now freed, so we'll do the Kirby jig. And uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll pick it back up with some more in the next episode. Uh, finish the world, basically, because the t beginning, beginning part was a little bit long. So let's see what toys we got. Basically, I think you get like a set. I don't think it's like random. Like you just get like a set thing. Like you get Sword Kirby from this level only. So that's basically how that works. And so now we could go on to the future levels. But since this video is about 19 minutes with no edits, um, we should probably just forget about finishing it until next episode. So hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.